Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies. My name is John and this video is going to be a look at the 4K release of 1970s Count Dracula. Okay, let's take a closer look at this. I'm not a fan of that price, I've got to say. I think it's a little bit over the top. Now Deborah said there was, is that just one film? And I says, sadly it is. I do think, I know you get the Blu-ray, you get the 4K, but... I honestly think this is 25 at tops. I know you can get a 25 on the website, but I just wanted to get it in shop. I've got the best one in the shop, and that's the way I'm going to, you know, that's the way I do it. Maybe it's a bit extra money for it, but I know I've got it. I don't have to mess about with it. So I've, I've flipped the art on here. There's uh, the stuff on the back. This has been a strange one, what was coming out. The fact is that it was going to be out maybe last month, I think, or the start of this month, and then what happened? It got withdrawn till the end of uh, the, the year. In fact, January, some websites were saying, and then it got put back in it. There's obviously had a, a problem with it. I don't know what it was. Yes, yeah, so we get you two discs. It's only a 12 as well. And, yeah, you get your Blu-ray, and you get your 4K, you get this booklet as well. Nice booklet. I always think when you see Christopher Lee with those sort of stuck on fangs, it looks a bit a bit strange. Now this says X. Mm -hmm. So it's been demoted to a 12, which is a bit a bit strange, isn't it? Nice booklet though. Nice artwork. Haven't seen half of this artwork in here. I've seen that one. Who about that? Graham Humphreys, of course, artwork. None finer. So that's a closer look at Count Dracula, 1970, directed by Jess Franco and starring Christopher Lee. So originally when this was announced, I thought it was going to be in the Italian classics collection range, but it is a Spanish movie. So in hindsight, you know, it's never going to be in there. It's released, but it's directed by Jess Franco, who must have uh, directed all, well over 200 movies. Most of them are, they're all right. He's got sort of like some really bad ones in there, some real stinkers, and he's got some great movies in there. It's got quite a lot of uh, barn video nasties in his, in his uh, filmography. So when this was announced, I was quite surprised to see this coming out in the UK, never mind on 4K. So in this set, you've got the uh, the 4K and you've also got the Blu-ray. And it is absolutely stacked with extras. I know I've shown this before, but I'll put that up there. If there's any amount of extras, they are all on the Blu-ray disc. Now, this, not getting away from it, it's a lovely package. It's got two discs in it. It's got a RAM packed with extras. Got a nice booklet. But $29.99 for a a movie these days it is quite out extortionate if I'm honest. I do think £25, no problem with that. £20 would be brilliant or 22 But I, there's a lot of 88 are putting a load of 29.99s out at the minute and you think to, to actually get these all on release is going to be quite hard. So I'm being a bit choosy. I know you can go to the 88 website and get it for £25, £24.99. And that's a more acceptable price. I don't know if that's free PNP. I think it is actually. Now, why didn't I get it from there? Because I do like to go at the store. I like to pick these up. I like to have a good look. I like to get the best one on the shelves. And then I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. But then again, if I got one and it was sent to us and it wasn't that good, because I like, the, especially this range, I try to keep this in the best possible condition, even though this isn't part of the range, but it will sit over there with all the other 4Ks. That's... That's spine number 83 is thus far, is how far they've got with the Italian classics and all these other ones are like the 4K versions of ones in there. Now, this the short story behind this film is the fact that Christopher Lee was making his Hammer Dracula movies at the time and he really fell out of love with the directors, the writers, the producers, all of that stuff. He didn't want to do it, but he kept getting coerced into making these uh, Hammer Dracula movies and he's got less and less speaking parts in it 
I know round about this time, scores of Dracula was coming out. He was filming this like kind of simultaneously at the same time. And he, he, he said a lot more in scores for scores of Dracula. It's not a great Dracula film by any, any means. But he went across to with Jess Franco, because I think he's worked with in uh, Italy before, and he come across Jess Franco and Mario Barber before. And he set about trying to make a brand new version of Dracula. He wanted to go back to the original story and he wanted to make a faithful representation of Dracula because he thought that the way that Hammer was doing it was just not like Dracula. Now, I beg to differ. I know I shouldn't beg to differ with the great Christopher Lee, but I really love the Hammer uh, Dracula's, and I think he is the epitome of the, the Hammer Dracula's. But he went across and he went to work with Jess Franco to make this version of uh, Dracula. This is kind of Jess Franco's Count Dracula. And it was one of those ones I used to see in these, these horror books. And I used to look at it and think, oh, what's this about? How, is, how come he's made one 1970 that I haven't heard anything about? When I originally saw this film, I was expecting it to be Hammer-esque. I was expecting to have all the Hammer-isms in it. And far from it, if I'm honest. And that really was a kind of a shock to me. I thought, hang on a minute, this is just not what I was expecting. So now I, knew, I know it's a kind of bit of a Euro trash version of it. Like not taking anything away from the performance of Christopher Lee. It, this aging Dracula with a moustache was always a bit of a strange one. And he's got, as you saw in them pictures, he's got some strange, well, not strange fangs. His fangs look good in here. But they're actually the artwork makes it look like he's got some fans from the joke shop. Yes, you've probably got the best ever actor, this portrayed Dracula. But don't think of him as a hammer Dracula. You know, dashing looks, very sort of sleep back, uh, black hair, none of that. It's a completely different take. It's the same story, but a different take. It's got a great cast in here. It's also got, and I completely forgot about this, Herbert Loms in here, and also Soledad Miranda, who's an actress that I talk about, who unfortunately, this is made in 1970, she actually passed away in 1970 herself in a car crash, age 27. And she was destined to become a big star, but sadly didn't work out for her. So I was all, I was thinking recently when I was talking on the video to say I would love to see some more stuff with Soledad Miranda. And here she is in this movie, so I can't wait to watch it for that reason as well. Yes, it is a 12, which is a, quite a surprise to me. I would have thought, especially with Jess Franco being uh, involved in this, I thought this would be much more explicit. and Definitely an 18, but or a 15. But anyway, I'm not taking anything away from it. So the main thing was when I put this on, I remember when I watched this, the picture quality or wherever I saw it, I can't remember where I saw it. I didn't actually own it. It was average. It was just, you know, not nothing to write home about. But when I put this on, I've got to say this is the 4K on here is absolutely stunning. It's one of the best 4Ks I've seen in this range when they do this, uh, when I go back to like a really old film. I don't know why this film took so long to come out because it seemed like they were having loads of problems with it. I'm just guessing on that because they put the release bit the day back to the end of the year and then they brought it uh, forward again. So this this is filmed in 137 to 1. So it's kind of like nearly like a, squ a square frame. So you will get black bars on the side of this movie. It doesn't matter to me at all when I watch this movie at night, which I like to watch these things at night. I don't care that it's got the black bars on the side or just getting involved in the picture. So it's like square frame to a certain extent. And I was really amazed by how good the 4K was in here. I mean, you know, when you think about Jess Franco, you don't think about movies looking that good, especially a low budget one from 1970. But it's the colours as well. I was expecting the colours to look pretty good, but they look fantastic. They look right up there with the horror stuff. They're not as saturated with the, the hammer stuff, should I say, but they're not far off. And this movie, when I look at it now, I think, right, I'm going to go in this with fresh eyes. I'm going to treat this like a Euro horror. I'm not even thinking about Hammer. Yes, it's got Christopher Lee and he's got his original voice as well. It's not dubbed, which is brilliant, because I would hate to see Christopher Lee dubbed. I mean, why would you want to do that? So congratulations to 88 for getting this movie out in a really spectacular fashion, packed with extras. The only thing I will say is, the prices are thirty pounds for these new releases that they're putting out, like the T gun stuff as well. They're thirty pounds, and I'm thinking it's a little bit too much. I do think they'll sit on the shelves until they come down round about twenty two pounds, and I think they'll fly off the shelves. Yes, they have got a lot of work put into it. The slip covers in here are really thick. It's it's a beautiful edition. I can't fault it. But what I do think is that I don't think this thirty pound thing when it's getting released at these this moment. I don't think it would do them any favours. 
if they knock five pound on it, I think off it, I think they would sell a lot more. That's just my uh, opinion. If you'd said to me you'd be buying this on 4K, I would have, I would have laughed, and I also would have said, what would I want to buy that movie for? Because at the time I saw it, which was quite a long time ago, I just didn't get it at all. But with fresh eyes, with a different perspective, I think that this movie could be a lot better than I originally thought it was, and I'm really interested to see how this movie shapes up with me now because. Obviously, you change your viewpoints when you're addicted to Hammer and you don't want anything to be not like Hammer, especially when you're expecting it to be Hammer like Hammer and it's completely not like that. So if you go on with that mindset, you might have a really good time with this and I can't wait to see it. So anyway, thanks for watching. You take care and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.